Hey everyone, Video4VT here. Today I want to show you how you can use the Adobe Media Encoder to render out your finished projects as opposed to using the render queue in After Effects. So traditionally, you would select your comp and add to render queue. And you know, you'd set your settings and you know, you'd render it out. So the only thing with this though is that when you render you cannot click anywhere in After Effects. You can't work in After Effects. And this is why I find using the Adobe Media Encoder a lot easier and you can maximize your time with it. So say for instance, I wanted to render out these three compositions and work on this title card at the same time. What I can do is go to this composition, highlight it, go down to add to Adobe Media Encoder and that will open up the window for Adobe Media Encoder. So let's just go ahead and add all these. And as you can see, they are all ready to go. So to change the settings on one of them, you can click the drop down for some presets. So let's say you want to do H.264 on this one, QuickTime on this one, and you know you want to do a PNG on the last one. Um, what you can do if you have you know a ton of comps in here is hold Shift to highlight all of them and click from the top to the bottom, and then go down and select QuickTime, or you know go down and select H.264, depending on what you want them all to be. So if you want to customize the codec, just make sure they're all highlighted and then click right here. And this will actually it'll tell you that you're about to edit the settings for multiple outputs. So go ahead and hit OK. I'll bring up this export settings window, similar to Adobe Premiere if you use it. So let's go ahead and just, you know, let's change a couple things around here. Let's go with this preset, hit OK, and now they're all good to go. And additionally, you can you know set the output by clicking the yellow under the output file and output it wherever you want. So let's go ahead and you know let's go ahead and go to our exports folder. Or you can highlight all of them if you want them all to go to the same place. Click and set your destination now. They're all going to the same place and they're all going to be rendered out in the same codec. And the great thing about Media Encoder is that when you hit this play button right here, it'll render them out and it's a separate application. So it'll render out on its own and you can actually go back to After Effects and continue working. So it's a huge time saver and I highly recommend using it over the render queue in After Effects.